guys welcome to my channel on cd made easy if you're new can you please click on the subscribe button and remember to turn on your notification we'll be looking at how to construct a triangle when you're giving the perimeter and the sides in a given ratio Example, construct a triangle on a given perimeter 140 mm and size in ratio 2 to 3. 2 to 3. So can you bring out your drawing instrument and let's proceed into the construction. So bring out your ruler and draw a line that equals to the even perimeter. So I'll name my line as line A and B. Okay, so the next step is to divide line AB in the given ratio so whatever ratio is given to you can be given ratio one two three you can be given ratio two three four you can be given ratio two to two so whatever ratio is given to you the first thing you need to do add up the ratio so i have two two three when i add up two plus two that gives me four four plus three that gives me seven if you don't know how to divide a line into a given ratio or proportion, check my videos. So the first thing you do, you draw an acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that is less than ninety degrees. So this is my acute line. After you have drawn the acute line, you divide it into the given ratio, which is two plus two plus three. So I have seven divisions. So I'm going to have seven divisions. So bring out your compass using any convenience radius. Using any convenience radius, you can make it you can reduce it here yeah, i'm using radius 2.6 so you can use any convenient radius to divide your line okay so now you can divide into seven equal parts so this is one move it to the next point two three four five, six, and the last division is division seven. All right, so after the last division, you connect the last point to point B. Connect the last point to point B. Once you're able to connect this, the next thing is to draw parallel lines to B. So you take the next division, this is division seven, you move on to six using your set square and your ruler. 
be able to connect using your set square and your ruler to draw your parallel lines. And point one. All right, so this is division one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, when you look at the given ratio, remember the sides of a triangle. A triangle has three sides. So there's the first side, there's the second side, and this is the third side. The measurement is not given, but the ratio. So when you're not giving the measurement and you're giving the ratio, this is the method that you're going to use to construct it. So now I want to set the line in the ratio two, two, three. So the first two, one, two, stands for the first division. So I'll move on to the next one, which is one, two, that is the middle, stands for the second division. And the last three, one, two three stands for the last side of the triangle so how do we go about this construction so now i'll pick the base which is the middle i'm going to pick the middle and the middle is ratio two so this is how i'm going to do it i'll use my thick line to show the ratio in the given proportion. So, I'll make this tick. That's the first proportion, which is in ratio two. And the second one is this. So with this demarcation, I have ratio two, two, and three. Okay, I have ratio two, two, and three. So I'm starting with the middle. I'll take the middle as the base. So this is my base, which is ratio 2, 1, and 2. Now, I'm going to name this point, point C. Guys, center at point C. Bring out your compass. Center at point C. Using the radius of CA, so you pick the radius of CA. And you strike an arc. Strike an arc. Okay, then I'll take it to the other side of C. I want to name the other side as point G. Using the radius of G, B. Using radius D, B. You strike another arc to cut the first one.
All right. Now I've got in my triangle. The next thing to do is just to connect the point of intersection to C and D. Connect to C and to D. Now you can see that we've been able to complete the sides, the three sides. So this is one, two, and three. So let me name the third point of intersection as point E. So I have triangle C, G, E. You can as well be asked to measure the sides of the triangle. To measure the sides of the triangle, I want to measure side C, E. Side C, E equals four centimeters. Four centimeters side CG and the last side is side G E. See, it gives me four centimeter. Four centimeter. Let's see the last side. I have six centimeters. From this, I can deduce that my ratio two to I equal. So I have four, four, and six centimeter. So this is how to construct a triangle when you're given the perimeter and the ratio of the sides.